I take my job on YouTube here pretty seriously, and my job is to teach you guys how to clean like a pro. And you might not know this, but I have a cleaning company. I started it in 2006, and over the years, I've researched, studied, practiced, I've learned a lot from other people, and of course, I've trained hundreds of people and taught them how to clean too. So here on YouTube, I always love sharing with you guys those little pro tips and secrets that have helped me build a company and of course clean better because clearly I had no idea how to clean before I started this company. So in this video, I wanna share with you my seven favorite pro cleaning tips. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up because I'm just asking you to. The first tip is cleaning from the top to the bottom and from the left to the right, and you're gonna do this simultaneously. When I first started cleaning, I was going all over the place. I was sort of like the Tasmanian devil, and I wasn't getting everything done, and I was spending so much more time, I was forgetting things. It was kind of ludicrous. So when I learned about this top to bottom, left to right business, and I started implementing it, I really noticed a change. And if you don't clean this way now, you should totally give it a try, and it's really easy to do. When I say clean top to bottom, the reason I suggest that is because dust and dirt falls from the top to the bottom. So when you're wiping something, obviously you're gonna have schmutz fall from the top to the bottom. So you wouldn't wanna clean your counter first, only to clean your cupboard, and then have all the crumbs from the cupboard fall onto your clean counter. Never do that again. Whoever would wanna clean a surface twice? And when I clean, I always wipe everything onto the floor because I know I'm cleaning the floor last. Now when it comes to working your way from left to right or right to left, you pick, just be consistent. It means that you're never going to skip a spot. So that way I know every corner, every section of the room is going to be cleaned because I'm working in this consistent manner. And that way when you're cleaning, you always know you have a pattern, you commit it to memory, and you get everything done very efficiently and effectively. So when I first started my cleaning company, I did not follow this information, and I would just continue to run back and forth to a kitchen. And really, it was in my best interest to get the cleaning done as quickly as possible so that I could move on to the next client, or just give myself a break. But either way, when I finally decided to start doing this, I would take all of the products to the center of the space that I was cleaning in that moment, so that way I wasn't running back and forth. It is a big waste of time, and guys, I used to time myself and it made a big difference. So the next time you're going to clean a particular room or space in your home, get all of the products and tools that you need ahead of time. You can just think about it quickly. Get everything in the center or a very easily accessible space within that area or room, and then get to your cleaning. Before I started my cleaning company and I would watch cleaning commercials, this is what you would see. And you know what, that's not real life, guys. That is not the way it works. Because when I was doing my cleaning company and I did that and wiped, I was like, hello, this product doesn't work. So what I learned by reading the instructions on the back of the product, great idea, is that you're actually supposed to let a product dwell or sit for a certain period of time. And that has two main effects. The first one is that the product will clean something, it just needs time to do its work. So sort of like hair dye, you can't just dump hair dye on your hair and then wash it off and expect to have a new color. It's gotta sit, it's gotta do its thing. So it's the same thing with a cleaning product. So with a product, spray it on a surface, let it sit, the product will then be able to do its thing, then you can wipe it off and you'll get those great results. And that goes for DIY products as well as store-bought products. Now the second reason it's important to do this is because if the product has a disinfecting property to it, the product's gonna need between five and 10 minutes to actually kill that bacteria. So if you're using the product, apply it, let it sit there for a few minutes, then wipe it off. That way you're getting the clean that you want and the disinfecting that you need. Start with the safest, most gentle product and work your way up only if you need to. And this is especially prudent for people with children, pets, asthma, or allergies. I find a lot of people will just go under their kitchen sink or wherever their little cleaning stash is and they grab whatever product or the super powerful product just to clean that thing that they think is so dirty. The truth is your house is probably a lot less dirty than you probably think it is, so that's good news. And gentle products can often accomplish a lot of cleaning, so you don't need such a strong product. However, if you're in a situation where, let's say you have a really greasy surface or someone got super sick on the bathroom floor, 
In that case, you do want to use the stronger, more powerful product, but in most cases, the DIY recipes that we talk about or gentle, environmentally friendly products are really efficient and good and safe for you to use to get that cleaning done. When you have a business, you always have these defining moments where little things happen to you that will forever affect the future of your business. So in my case, there was this one time where this lady called me after her cleaning. She was very nice, but she wasn't happy. And she said, look, the kitchen counter at first glance looks really nice, but I've noticed some staining on the kitchen counter and she had a white counter quite like I do. And I was like, excuse me? I cleaned that kitchen counter myself for like 10 minutes. What are you talking about? Now, clearly I didn't say that to her on the phone. I was very pleasant. But anyway, as it turns out, she kind of crouched down and looked at the counter and noticed that something was missed under her microwave. I was devastated. But after that, I implemented what, what I now call the eye level test. And what that is, is crouching down to eye level of the surface that you've just cleaned to have a glance at it and see if anything else pops out at you. Now, when I train my staff, I always tell them, okay, this is the eye level test. Now I want you to go to our kitchen island area and I want you to crouch down and have a look at it eye level. And they do that and they're all horrified and I make sure it's really dirty that day so that they really get a good idea of how important that eye level test is. Because when you come up and you look at something straight down, doesn't always look dirty, but when you crouch down and look at it at eye level, you get a whole other story. So when you're cleaning, step up your game and crouch down, check out that surface at eye level. And then there's the famous S pattern. And I'd like to say that I brought the S pattern to the world via this YouTube channel and via my book. The S pattern is a really interesting thing. When I first started cleaning, I was doing the circles because that's what I thought you were supposed to do. You know, like you see your mom do it or you see someone do it on TV and you just think, yeah, obviously that's the way you do it. It's not the way that you clean. So when I learned about the S pattern, it completely changed my results. And I'm gonna tell you why. When you clean a surface like this, you're taking a clean cloth and a fairly dirty surface, you're wiping, clean, 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 dirty, 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 and then you keep doing it again. So now you're taking your dirty cloth and you're putting it right back on that clean surface. So you're getting streaks, you're getting marks, you're working way harder than you need to, and you're not getting the results that you desire. Instead, if you use what's called the S pattern, which is when you start at the top right-hand corner of a surface, you swipe all the way to the left, and then you zig and you zag back down to the, Chad is dancing as I'm doing this, guys. It's so funny, because he's doing the S pattern with me. It's quite funny. The S pattern really does change the way that you clean. You get less streaks, you're working really about half as hard as you would if you were doing it this way, and you're getting great results. So the next time you clean, instead of breaking out this old circular business, try the S pattern and watch how much quicker and better your cleaning becomes. This is a trick that I learned from home stagers many years ago, because when I used to clean, at the beginning, I wasn't quite sure how to make things look tidy. And half of cleaning, especially when you're cleaning professionally, is making something look tidy. So even if you've spent like an hour cleaning something so there's no dust or bacteria left on that surface, it could still look messy if items are scattered. So this parallel perpendicular business is actually really helpful. It makes any surface look super tidy and clean and pleasing to the eye. So not only do you now have a clean surface, you also have a tidy surface. So your space looks super clean. Here's what you need to do. Find your items, pile them up, declutter them, whatever it is, and line everything up to the edge of the surface that the item is sitting on, either in a parallel fashion to the edge or a perpendicular fashion to the edge. And that way, you've got these nice, clean, straight angles, and that's very pleasing to the eye, and it looks clean. All of these tips were taken from my book, which is also conveniently called Clean My Space. So if you haven't done so already, you can pick up your own copy and you can learn pretty much my entire method about how I clean. You guys know I hate cleaning, so I pretty much tell you how to clean without spending all of your time doing it, especially if you're someone like me who would rather be doing pretty much anything else than clean. Now these books are available at all fine retailers. You can also get them online, Amazon, Indigo, Books A Million, 
Barnes and Noble, all of the, I'm trying to remember everybody, but all the booksellers pretty much picked up this book in North America. You can also get an audible version or an audiobook version that I narrated. And in fact, I just realized I was wearing this shirt on the first day that I did that narration. So kind of a funny little connection there. And you can even get an e-reader copy as well. So go and find it. I'll put links for you down below. And for those of you guys who have gotten the book, if you could go on Amazon or whatever bookseller you got it from and leave the book a review, I would greatly appreciate that. You guys have no idea how important Amazon reviews are for books. Unless you're JK Rowling and you wrote Harry Potter, Amazon reviews make a big difference for an author. So if you guys could do that for me, I would greatly appreciate it. I'd love to know in the comments down below, what is your favorite cleaning tip that you've learned from Clean My Space? So often you guys will write things like, the S pattern changed my life, or I love these DIY cleaners. Like, I, I love hearing these things from you guys. So definitely let me know how we've inspired you to change the way that you clean in the comments down below. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're gonna love. And if you wanna learn more about the book, you can click this button right over here. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.